creative writing exists, one can say, at the intersection of arts and academia. It's, um, one might say, the most academic of the arts, and at the same time, the most artistic of the academic fields. Because if you think about it, literature is really the most intellectual of all art forms. Uh, because all other art forms, like painting, sculpture, uh, cinema, music, they are very sensual. They have a direct, they appeal to the senses directly. Hearing, touch, eyes. Literature is the only art form which happens through a medium which is entirely artificial, that is language. And that's why I call it most intellectual, not in the sense of most difficult, but the most abstracted, the most removed from the body. And also literature is very rooted in a social culture of modernity, capitalism, print, which is also makes it rooted to certain kind of bourgeois culture. So in some ways, it's a natural form. It has its natural place at the university in close relationship to critical study of literature. But of course, it's open to people from every field. I mean, even if you might major in economics or psychology or business, the creative writing minor is open for you. In fact, I think we think some of the best writers come from people who are not professional readers of literature. Now in a university you do many different kinds of writing. You do academic writing, you do scientific writing, you do um, even journalistic writing. Um, in academic writing, for instance, you're asked to uh, be objective. You're asked to kind of remove your personal self away, kind of subordinate your voice. Um, in creative writing, the striking thing is you're, you're asked to do it the exact opposite. Creative writing is a celebration of yourself. It's a foregrounding of your, of your voice, of a highlighting of your own subjectivity. Now that doesn't mean it's just a kind of running loose of emotion, like running things running rampant. And this is exactly where once you decide to do creative writing, that is, that is, you take your writing beyond just scribbling in your in your diary. You know, it's like saying, when does paint which is accidentally spilled on the floor becomes a painting? When does and that the difference between intent that you are writing for a reader, and that that difference is what I call the transition from the therapeutic to the effective. What I mean by this is when you say when you fall in love for the first time. And you write this poem at the first flush of emotions. Now, reading that poem, somebody might just burst out in laughter. They may not even feel the tinge of romance. Or when you get very angry and write a pamphlet, again, somebody might find it funny. They may not be angry. So this is an example of what I'd call therapeutic writing. You're writing your emotions, but you're failing to evoke the same emotion in the reader. Now, the whole point of creative writing is to be therapeutic, not to be therapeutic, but to be effective, to, that to evoke the right emotion in the reader. When you go from writing as a therapy, when you go on writing as simply an expression, something that makes you feel better, to when that writing is supposed to evoke that emotion in the reader, because that doesn't always happen. And that is the training which, I guess, creative writing, when you talk about it professionally, that's what we try to attain. And in fact, it's, it's useful to think about whether creative writing, or for that matter, the arts can really be taught. Because it's not really driven by content. It's not like we give you a certain set of contents to master. Um, it's a question valid for all the arts, can the arts be taught. And what I feel is the more technical an artistic field is, the more important it is to teach certain things. Like filmmaking has a lot of technical aspects camera, the, you know, the physical details, certain sciences, certain engineering aspects you need to understand. Same with sculpture, same with um, even painting. Again, uh, in some ways literature is probably the least technical of all the arts because it simply uses language, something we use every day. It's an everyday thing and yet we turn it into something magical. Um, and um, and what, what that means is it's hard to say it can be taught, but what a creative writing course and in a longer sense a minor or a major or an advanced residency seeks to do is to simply create a space for a group of writers to come together, creates a community 
and it makes you it forces you to make your private pronouncements public that you hold it open to the scrutiny of others on a regular basis people also who are also people who are committed writers and create this ecosystem of exchange facilitated by an instructor who is somebody who's writing for a longer time who's an advanced writer and there are technical things here like you might be asked to write um an exercise on point of view an exercise in a certain kind of meter or rhyme but really at the end of it it's really hard to fully professionalize the field of creative writing because there's something wild and unpredictable about it all it takes is a certain facility of with language it doesn't mean being good at language because goodness is a normative standard that that is useful in academic writing but it's it has a certain ability and a certain creative relationship with life that's all it takes and what we hope to achieve in this program is to bring people who have made the decision to take writing to a public level to create an ecosystem of exchange and to read some exciting literature read it not as scholars not as academics but read it as practicing writers how other writers do it and then have a conversation around it and most importantly the crucial content for this program or for individual courses is not content from outside but content that you create that is writing that you do your writing is the subject of our discussion here and if you are to sign up for the minor over the 3 years or 4 years of the time it spent at ashoka you would be writing something beautiful you'd be right you'd be creating something like a book on a miniature scale you'd be writing a prose work of a certain length a collection of poems or a work of non fiction and that is something you generate over a period of time and that would be a thesis that would be the capstone the crowning achievement of the minor that is not to say everybody who does the minor or takes courses will commit to become poets or fiction writers because writing like this will give you a whole different perspective of literature it will make you things make you look at things very differently and will hopefully also help you in a range of different professions whether it's law editing journalism and whole lot of different things because it forces you to rethink your relationship with life and language and literature in a way in a visceral way in a fundamental way that you may not if you don't enter into this so we welcome you to explore the options offered by creative writing and most of all enjoy and have fun